Relationships are hard. They're difficult. Um, Pema Chodron has a quote that I like a lot. And she says, things come together and they fall apart. And then things come together and they fall apart. Nothing ever really gets resolved. They come together and then it falls apart. Uh, that's how it goes. And that is especially true. It's true for life, but it's especially true. And I could see it a lot in relationships. Uh, why relationships are so hard is somewhat uh, has to do with our expectation. We think like relationships are like tying your shoes or making a sandwich is something we can figure out or kind of um, um, you know, like we can prevent it from falling apart, but that's not how it works. They fall apart. They come together, they fall apart. So what's important here is not in, in preventing a relationship from falling apart, but in coming back together and in a relationship world, we talk about repair, uh, as that process. But really, again, what we're doing here is, um, we're learning to live in relationship and learning to live in relationship is really about falling together and coming back together falling apart, coming back together more gracefully, more lovingly. So the repair is a necessary part of that process of coming back together. Um, I'm going to break down the repair in three steps. The first one is taking ownership. Uh, and I like this definition of ownership. It is a willingness to see yourself as the cause of everything. It is a willingness to see yourself as the cause of everything. I got another video on it. Check it out. Anyways, um, the next step is um, to share what you intend to do differently the next time. And then the last one is to ask permission to begin again, uh, to start over. So for an example, I was working with a guy, his daughter was upset about, um, he just brought like his stress, got medical issues, uh, some other family issues that he would sort of dump on her. And um, that was her complaint. She was hurt by it and she put up a boundary. So I don't want, you know, I can't deal. I have enough of this stuff. I can't deal with all of your stuff. So for him is to take ownership and just recognize that I hear that I am dumping all my stuff on you and it's stressing you out. That's taking ownership. And then he can share what he intends to do differently, which is I'm going to bring all this stuff to my therapist, right? Like, so that's what I intend to do differently. And then the third one is just asking permission. Would it be okay if we started over? Could we start over? So ownership, what you're going to do or what you intend to do differently about the situation. And then asking permission to start over again. And if you do that, your relationships are going to improve because this is necessary. It's about like, we build trust this way, coming together, falling apart. We strengthen our relationships through the process of coming together. So that's it. Those are the three steps. Easier said than done, but don't give up on it. You got everything you need until next time.